Yo, what is up, YouTube? Man, I'm sure if you guys are a shooting center, you're wondering what is the best takeover for me, and I am using Glass Gunner right now. Now, to be fair, this is the only one that I have unlocked because 2K made it way too tough to actually unlock takeovers. If you guys don't know, you pretty much have to get takeover 25 times before you actually get the ability. You know, you got the level 3s, the level 4s, where you're still getting some plus to your stats, but it does not feel like takeover until you actually get to level 5. You can see with Glass Gunner, I'm getting that marksman ability where I'm able to hit shots. Like, I have sharpshooting takeover. Also, I'm getting a plus save to my three-pointer, my defensive rebound, and my offensive rebound. As a shooting center, as a stretch big, you got to be able to shoot the ball, and you have to be able to rebound. You know, you can't go out there and get out-rebounded 30 to 10. You can't go out there and miss open pops, or you're, you know, you might as well be on an inside. So, this takeover does make sense. And you guys are in for a treat with today's gameplay. So this is my second ever random rec game. I showed my first one in my build video where I was not really getting the ball. People were not hitting me on pops. I had a lot of rebounds, you know. I was playing defense, but it wasn't really the offensive showcase that I was wanting. Now going into this game, it seems like it's going to be more of the same. I'm thinking because I changed my gamer tag, people don't know that it's tonic. So I'm getting treated a lot more like you guys do as shooting bigs. I get told all the time people are only passing you the ball because you're tonic. Nobody hits me when I'm open. And you guys are right. I'm never getting hit. I mean, it's terrible. I understand, you know, people are trying to figure out the game. They're trying to look for their shot. But if I'm wide open, man, just throw me a dot. Either way, you can see early on. I'm chasing down the ball. I'm throwing the break. I got that 87 pass sack. I'm going to make a video about the best pass styles for different ratings, whether you have a 75, an 87, a 94, whichever you decide to go. Another board, another dish out on the fast break. This is how we're scoring, too. Our half-court offense is horrendous. That's how it's going to be in Random Wreck until people start figuring out their jump shots, figuring out their animations. You can see right here. I'm dropping. The guy I'm guarding is a shooting center, but he's going to have to show me. I'd rather people take jump shots than get wide open dunks. That's how a game can get out of hand very fast. And you can see my takeover. It's almost there. Now, I played a couple of park games. I was going to show you guys getting this takeover in the park. But to be honest, on the twos, on the threes, it's not really as valuable as, say, the wreck, the fives. And here you're going to see me get this takeover a couple of times and it's pretty nice you know takeover is different it's not just something that's always running down you can lose it right here i get the board i activate the takeover six rebounds six assists i think i missed a close shot so i'm 0 for one i am fuming for the ball now and right here the pg he hits me and now it is time for a showcase. Now, I've been testing out a lot of different jump shots, you know. I try them out in games, in Comp Pro-Am, where, you know, it's high risk reward. Some of them have been, you know, kind of bad. I've shot bad in a few games, but I'm liking how this one's looking. You guys can hear my teammates start putting on their mic. I'm able to catch the ball at the mid-range. Easy catch and shoots. Not doing anything too crazy right here. My guy ends up trying to get the lane. I go to the KD fade. That 94 mid-range, it is a weapon. As a big man, you should use that high midi to do things like KD fade to get the Jokic hop jumpers off, which, you know, you guys will see soon. And, of course, this build is a post score as well right there. I don't actually affect the shot, but I think I did scare him because he shoots a very late layups are pretty bad in this game i'm not gonna lie i'm seeing people missing some crazy layups mashing you know sometimes it seems overpowered sometimes it seems very underwhelming let me know what you guys think about that nine points 11 rebounds seven assists once again i'm in the paint i'm getting the contest i'm also grabbing the board that can be tough you know if you're contesting a lot of shots sometimes you're not always going to be able to get the board so if you're making a power forward even a small forward if you can put some rebounding on your build to help out the centers in those situations it is definitely nice once again i'm open on the pop i'm able to activate takeover they're starting to hit me a lot you know, it's completely night and day compared to the first random rec game I played. And it's night and day compared to, I think, the first quarter, the first quarter and a half where I was not getting any shots. I'm 5 for 7. A lot of mini pops. It seems a little bit tougher to set my feet behind the three-point line every time I want to. But a bucket is a bucket. You can see our offense. I mean, point guard is mainly scoring on the fast break. Other than that, I don't feel like this should be a close game. I mean, you see my stats, but I'm here to carry the team. I'm playing random rec. He dots me right here. That is an open, not wide open. But, you know, it's just a little bit of a speed up with the high shooting. You can hit that. It's so weak how, like, bad your build is at the beginning. It's really bad this year. And you can hear the guys talking about they don't have pass sack, like, you know. I don't even have speed with ball yet, bro. 
No, speed with ball. I'm getting plucked a lot. That oh, is a very it. tough thing to get used to. I got to be patient. I'm trying to just kind of gun it up court. I want us to get the bucket right here. Oh, we overloaded. Good shot. <laughs> bro, bro, ain't no way you made that. That nigga can shoot. He's a fucking, like, I don't know what his build is. He's center, and he's bringing up the ball, and he's fucking shooting minis for three. This man made KD. Crazy dude. My nigga, he can shoot. I mean, you guys yeah, can you hear can't, it. You can't forget about the rebound, dude. And I'm out here yeah, shooting the ball. Crazy. I'm yeah, getting rebounds. Teams. I'm throwing yeah, dots. I'm like that. Same. 15 rebounds on third. If you guys do want the build, yeah, if you have not seen it. Like, I'm right there at it. It's just fucking off by a centimeter every time. It's my 7 foot, 269 pound post score stretch build. I'm sure you guys have seen it if you're watching this video. He tries to gam it on me right here. A lot of people are wondering, is the 71 interior 84 block enough? As he gets a nice contact dunk right there. It is definitely enough. Now, would I like for it to be higher? No way. With a little Jokic pro play animation right there. I would love to. I'd love for it to be, you know, gold, Hall of Fame, even legend. I think it could be valuable in this game, especially if you're playing you know the right lineup but at the end of the day i want to do a lot on my build you can see right here i got the takeover activated i'm able to worm him oh that's God. definitely the super high rebounding that's going through the roof with this takeover activated teammate dots me at the top of the key from three i have not missed a three i've only taken one but you know i'm shooting pretty good on the midi pops as well you guys are going to see the stats at the end of the game 20 points 26 rebounds i end up missing three shots one of them was very early the other two i think i just took a couple of heat check shots not literally but you know i was feeling myself and yeah man 70 to 58 if you're not sure about what takeover you want to work on unlocking i definitely recommend glass gunner if you're a shooting big i mean it can't ever be bad you always want to be able to hit more shots you always want to be able to rebound the ball more there are some other ones I definitely want to try out, some post-scoring ones. There's one where you can actually, it's more like a rim sharp where you can get boosting to your shooting and you can get boosting to your block. Let me know if there's any others you guys are using that you think might be better. And I'll show you guys the build at the end just for anyone that doesn't want to go to the build video. You know, I got a lot of stats up. I'm still missing a lot of key things, though. I don't really have dunking ability on this build yet. That 70 standing dunk, 60 driving is going to be huge. I don't have my offensive rebound yet, my block. I just have the bronze badges, and you can see the badges I do have. They're not quite up to par yet. I really want to get that post-fade phenom on legend of course i want to get my hook specialist up the shot shot specialist i definitely i think i'm gonna badge plus one that to legend as well it's really big on hitting those shots and if you guys did enjoy the video man if you don't drop a like and subscribe of course i do appreciate it a ton this is sonic i will catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace